Today I'd like to talk to you about our engine management program. It's our category that's a growing category and it's also a very popular one today. Uh, our engine management category starts with the category series or part number category series 151, which is our mechanical fuel pumps. Still have some of those available, uh, but it's all migrating to 152, which is electric fuel pumps. And I'd like to show you a couple examples of our electric fuel pumps and the steps that we go through in order to put product in the box to make sure that we can take care of the technician. So we have a module assembly. We actually purchased these original equipment and because uh, we really want to find out is if we can remove the pump from the module very easily. There are some that aren't as easy as others and there are some that are very very difficult. So uh, what we want to be sure of is that we can take this pump from this module assembly however it might and it fits very tightly but this actually tells us that we can change just the pump. But the one thing we also want to be sure of, the one thing that we do in the product department is we check for alleged defectives coming in the back door from our customers, the defects. And we want to find out why. And one of the things that had happened to us a number of years ago was the fuel pump itself. For many, many years, our fuel pump program was nothing more than a pump and this is actually how we would sell it. We would sell just the pump and we would sell nothing more. And we had a very large return ratio of over 15 to 17 percent. It was bad. So knowing that within the product management department we had to fix that. So we did some research, talked to some technicians, uh, went out and visited some shop owners and uh, found out that you know if we were to supply this pre-pump strainer because it's the first line of defense against debris that's in that gas tank, it could probably hold off a lot of those comebacks and alleged defect warranties before they even have an opportunity and give this fuel pump an opportunity to work the way it should. So when we think about the fact that I've, I have this assembly and I get this pump and I get this pre-pump strainer, what I have to be sure of or what our department has to be sure of is that we supply everything that's necessary in the repair. So you saw me open up this box and pull this pump out. We do a lot of foam wrap on electronic components and we do that just for, for safety factors to make sure that we can, during shipping, no premature damage and so it gets to the end user the way it was intended to be, fully intact, not broken. So we do a lot of this foam wrap on a lot of electronic components. We also are able to supply the strainer, it's identical fit so we know that it's going to fit properly and those are the key things that we want to look for is that it's a proper fit the way it was intended to be. And also we'll supply necessary hardware, uh, a hose assembly, whatever is necessary to install everything back together again the way it was intended. The really really good thing about this program is, is, is that we put it all in one box so when you look it up the counter person looks it up they only have one part number to fool with. They don't have to sit there and think about the fact now, do I need to sell this person a strainer? Do I need to sell them any hardware? What, what else do I need to sell them? We're going to take the guesswork out of that and just put it all in one package. And then that way there is no guesswork. And they can be rest assured that the consumer installer is going to get everything in one box. Nice and easy. We also got a little, we had challenged one day by a, uh, a shop owner and he says, you know, that's really good that you're using brand new stuff to check these fuel pumps. What about old stuff that's been sitting in a gas tank 10, 12 years? He made a good point. So we actually went out and went to a salvage yard, got a couple of these assemblies that have been sitting in gas tanks in the salvage yards for years and believe it or not, the plastic pieces are just as pliable as they've been sitting for 10 or 12 years as they were when we bought them brand new, not even used yet. So good product as far as durability, ease of operation as far as replacing the pump, all very good. Just some steps that we go through to make sure that we can take care of the technician without having to go through a lot of steps. In addition to that, we went to Toyota because we're looking at all the imports. This is our sample parts tag. In our office here back in Smyrna, Tennessee, we actually have a sample parts library. It's called the OVM, Original Vendor and Manufacturer Sample Parts Library, as well as Competitor, because we do check them out as well, because we want to make sure that we can get one step ahead of them. So the Toyota sells everything separately. This is their pump. 
This is their strainer. The interesting thing about this is the fact that this strainer is actually used on two of our filters. So the pumps are different and the strainers are the same. So I have two part numbers. I'm not going to do a consolidation because again, one thing that we are at Beck Arnley is application specific. One part number at a time, driven by the OE number, not by a lot of numbers, and we very rarely consolidate in order to save SKUs. I probably have more SKUs than the next person because we do make sure it's application specific. But I have two OE tags on this strainer. It's because of the multiple pumps that it goes to and the applications, and we identify that as well. In this instance, though, even though it's separate from Toyota, we are actually going to put together a package. We'll give you the strainer, if you recall. Matches identically. And also, the pump and the foam rubber for the protection. So we're going to give you the pump the same application as well, protecting it. And also, the hardware bag where we can give you the clamps, the clips, the hose, whatever is necessary for installation. What you're not going to find in the Beck Arnley box is going to be electrical connectors because we really don't want to have any splicing of wires. It's not worth it. We're going to, if that's the case, we're going, then that's not application specific, so that doesn't fit the program. We're going to make sure it's application specific so you don't have to splice wires. So that's the 152 series. That's our electric fuel pumps. So we go to 155. 155 is remanufactured fuel injectors. I've got a fuel injector to show you. And remember me talking about how we try to, on the product side, we try to find what's going on on alleged defectives coming in the back door. This was the number one alleged defective that Beck Arnley had. Whenever we get them back, we'd have them tested. Injector was fine. What we were finding out was is that this seal, this lower seal was getting damaged during installation. And when it got damaged, it leaked. So when there was fuel pressure placed on the fuel rail on the engine, it was leaking before it even had an opportunity to operate. So we were getting these back because they were thinking, or the technicians were thinking, that there was a leak somewhere in the injector. And come to find out, it was a little four cent seal. So a little four cent seal caused us to have our number one warranty issue. That being the case, knowing that the injector is good, we put together an instruction sheet because we really needed to let the installer know what to look for because most of your installers know what the problems are. They see this all the time whenever they work on these vehicles. So what we did was we put this instruction sheet in three languages, French, English, and Spanish. We also put it in color. We showed you the incorrect way, the correct way for installation. And we have seen our warranties go to zero. We're not having any more problems whatsoever, just by virtue of an instruction sheet. And again, what we found was, if you do it in color, it tends to gain a little bit more attention. So that was the critical issue, as is we wanted to make sure. Again, the injector was fine. It was the O-ring that was the problem. So that's the 155 series, which is remanufactured fuel injectors. 156 is our oxygen sensors. We do carry oxygen sensors, and we actually have flexible sourcing in our oxygen sensors where we have the ability to go to wherever we need to to get the proper manufacturer for those applications. And then we move into 157, which is our remand uh, fuel injection program, which would be mass airflow sensors, airflow meters, um, and that's 157. And then we move into 158, which is new fuel injectors, as well as our sensors. So we go into 158 and we look at sensors. Here is a throttle position sensor for a Nissan application. And remember I talked about that sample parts library. Here again is a tag. It's the OE tag. So we know where we need to go look for this item because on this body is a company name and a part number. We know who that is. We go through our office in Japan, contact him, give him the OE number, give him the vendor's number, do whatever we can to assist him, and he goes and knocks on that vendor's door if we can go ahead and buy this part from them, and we can. So we're actually able to give you the exact original equipment part for this application, but we have a stipulation. And that stipulation has to do with 
Depending upon whether or not that manufacturer is putting together parts for the OE service or not. If they're putting together an order for OE service, we're going to get a part in a Nissan box. In which case, we'll just put it in our box because we are selling the Beck Arnley brand. But to make it easy for us and our packaging people and our operations is to go ahead and just put this box right inside of ours. But if they're not working on a service order, we're just, we're not going to get the Nissan box, we're going to get just the part. We get the same part that was in the Nissan box just without the Nissan box. So that's the stipulation that we had. And we were okay with that because the important thing is the part. It matches identically still with the proper markings. So today a customer or a warehouse or a jobber could actually have two of these sitting on the shelf. One in the Nissan box and one not in the Nissan box. They are the same product. Okay, that's the key. We also decided to go out and check our competition. In this particular instance, they're making this, or someone is making this for them, and what they did was they just kind of coated it blue to make it look like the original piece, but there isn't anything that identifies it like ours. So we've actually taken that extra step in sourcing versus making. So in this instance, we're giving you the right item. We don't know what's underneath that blue cover. This one, we know it's coming from the right proper source that's supplying OES, so we're comfortable with that. And we're confident too.